Good evening. It's actually later that night, um, that afternoon. I've had some rest. I'm not going to go crazy here, but there's something I spotted while I was out here. Actually, I spotted this earlier, but I came out to try and figure out how many more rocks I need, how many more, um, what do you call them, blocks. But I noticed under here is another one of these. There's another there's another block there. I'm not sure if that's a half or a full, but I'm just want to pull it out and figure out uh, how that plays into what I need to go get. Okay, I've done enough digging to figure out it's a half a block, so I'll put that into my notes and some point this week I'll go get some more blocks. Good morning. It's Tuesday. I've had my shot. I got lucky. They had the Johnson & Johnson here, so it's a one and done. Um, but I'm already feeling the sort of tiredness coming on. Everybody has different reactions. Don't go by what happens to me. But I can feel tiredness coming on, and I know I need to get the garbage cans out because it's Tuesday and they pick up tomorrow morning. So I got to get that taken care of, and I wanted to do one other thing with the garden. So we're going to do a little time lapse. This is going to be a shorter uh, video or this section of the work update. It'll be short for today, but here we go. I tried to look menacing on time lapse and I slipped on an orange. <laughs> what are you gonna do? But uh, I've cut the Nandina way down. Ultimately, I'm still gonna have to wrestle the rest of it out of there because it's in the way of. You can kind of see the wall over here, right there. And then I just gotta keep working across. So I'm gonna have to pull all that out uh, just to continue the wall and then I'm gonna have to pull all of the other stuff here off the wall but it just feels good to have done that to get that one other thing plus the fact that uh, I managed to fit it in the big green can and they'll pick that up tomorrow so that's that much less debris that's still hanging around so that's a good thing and with that I think I'll quit for the day go have lunch take a nap see how long my nap lasts uh, like I said I'm tired but Still functional, so let's see what the next day brings, or when the next day is. Good morning, gardening friends. It's Wednesday. I think I've recovered. I'm still slightly off, but I've been itching to get back to this, so let's just jump right in. Let's get rid of that Nandina and get some stuff out of the way so I can start putting some more of the base blocks down. I did pick up some... Uh, more materials. I'm going to have to make sure that those are actually going to work, but I think the simplest way to do that right now is just to put the next block down at the base and be able to put uh, a couple of them on top of that and see how it's working. Um, but there's also a half a block buried in there and the Nandina to get out of the way and various other things that are in the way. So I'm just going to jump into it and start getting rid of stuff or getting stuff moved around. Well, that was almost 45 minutes in real time. Let me sort of take you through what I just did uh, and why. Um, I was cleaning up over here, trying to get the plant out, trying to get the Nandina, 
And so I was digging all around it and realized it's rooted in there pretty good, but then I realized I've generated a good pile of dirt here um, with all the rocks and everything. And so I was gonna have to move it, get it out of my way, and the only place to put it would be in these smaller green bins with my whole soil management system here. Both of them were mostly full, so I just decided let's go ahead and empty them both out. This is the emptiest they've been since the start of the project. So filled up that bin with soil. Got a good chunk of gravel in here and the occasional bit of green stuff or brown stuff, whatever. Uh, vegetation, but I don't really care as much about that. I'm trying to pull out, you know, the larger pieces and what have you, but not that concerned. So I started filling up the next one, and that's where you saw me. So I've now finished filling those. I'm going to take a short break, and then I'll move the pile over here. That's the plan. Okay, finally got those two in. Uh, it was a struggle getting the Mandina out, but I got it out. I then spent some time trying to kind of clear things. Uh, I said, now I've got a, you know enough room to put maybe two or two or maybe three more of the uh, base blocks. Also, you can see the new blocks that I just bought are quite a bit newer looking. So there's, I'm debating whether or not to maybe take the ones off the top layer and use those as the sort of second row and then just put the new ones on the very top. Um, although, actually, I might end up, I have to take some measurements, I might end up needing uh, less of one type than the other. So I think you know, to some degree, I may just have to decide that uh, over time, the difference in color, let me actually kind of swing you that way so you can see the difference in color, that may calm down. So I got to do some thinking on it. It's time to take a break. Um, and that one big one I put in there was the only one that I have, the, the base block that I just put in was the only one that was that wide. So I decided to put it kind of in the middle of the wall as a little bit more of an anchor. Um, I'm going to have to put the uh, drainage gravel around it somehow, uh, just figure all of that out. So a bunch of little things to figure out, but overall starting to make progress in the march towards the right there. So that's where we are. Uh, let me take a break and I'll either come back today or you'll see me tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. Break time is over. And I would like to unload the car uh, of all of the extra stuff that I've purchased, but uh, I'm not sure if I showed this in the last video. Um, I was using this area as a staging area. You can see I got a bunch of bricks there. I've got some of the pavers and some of the other caps. Um, and I had down here the, uh, the base blocks. So I think I'm going to grab all the other blocks and put them, move them here, all the new ones. But before I do that, I do have one more of these base blocks, which I managed to excavate out. I think that might be a good just sort of finishing point for the day. I'll get that one laid. I'll get two more of the new ones up, and that means I'll have, see, I bought 11. That would be four of them up here, so that's seven that I'll be putting over in the staging area. Plus, I bought four more of the uh, pavers for the top of the wall. I still need to deal with backfilling in behind it, and eventually I've got to get to starting to kind of level out behind the wall um, in anticipation of the next level. The, the whole point of the terracing is to kind of, you know, just go up in stages up the hill 
like steps, and the steps are going to be flat. So instead of having a slope, we'll just have a bunch of steps. Um, so I need to flatten the stuff out behind it, but I need to get the whole thing, or I need to get more, a little more of it built, and then I'll put, anyway, I'll go over that when I get to it. Um, so I think what you're going to see next is me taking this block. I need to knock off, there's some extra uh, concrete on there. I'm not sure if we pulled down a wall somewhere or something and ended it with some extra blocks, the original slump stone blocks, that's why we have them. But uh, I've done this before with other parts. These are just ones that were buried that I haven't really accessed. So I just got to knock the extra concrete off of that. I've got a way to do that and I'll take care of that. I'll get it set. I'll get two more up there and that'll be it for the day. All right, well, I'm not sure how long ago it shut off on me, but uh, that was basically just me sort of cleaning up and ended up putting the, uh, oh, something just fell. Nope, I'm good. Uh, I ended up putting the stepping stones here because the pile over there is getting kind of tall and I was just afraid of some calamitous thing happening. So I got two more in, I mean, another base and two more on the top still managing somewhat of a running bond here which is good um, but i'm wondering whether the seven more i have is going to be enough that plus a half a block to get all the way to the end there um, i'm going to take a couple of measurements but i'm going to wrap it up for today um, i'm just going to clean up a bit and cover up some things and because the sprinkler is going to go off tomorrow morning so that'll be it for today thank you for watching See you tomorrow or the next day. Good morning. It's Thursday. It's the next day. I've recovered. I'm recovering faster. That's a good thing. And now the question is when I start losing some weight. But uh, I thought about it some last night and I apologize for the sound. That's the air conditioner, uh, the condenser running. Um, thought about it last night, was trying to figure out how many blocks I have, how many blocks I'll need, and then it just kind of dawned on me. It makes more sense to just basically pull the rest of this stuff out, figure out, you know, where I can put it temporarily, and finish putting in the base blocks all the way to the end. That will establish just how many blocks I'm using there, and it'll make it a lot easier to figure out how many blocks I might need. Also, as I get closer to that, just looking at it over here um, and looking at the 33 and a half inches from the edge of the wall up that way I'm thinking it, I'm gonna basically line up with this here not the lower one which means I'm probably gonna be a block higher than I was thinking so it's just you know I could try and figure it all out there's a lot of different variables involved potentially um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack this, try and get the existing blocks out, get the stuff moved out of the way, get the blocks that are there out, clear an area. I'm probably going to have to sift some soil because I've got soil down there uh, occupying the two smaller bins. And I still, I keep saying I'm going to drill some drain holes in here. I still haven't done that. So I think maybe that's the first thing is just drill some drain, additional drain holes in some of these um really what do these bins owe me they don't have to uh, i need to keep one bin i think that doesn't have drain holes in it because we use these bins to clean the barbecue parts um, but other than that i think i'm okay um, so i just got to figure that out and get it done okay that's a couple of steps in the right direction uh, i got a couple of holes down here in the gravel pit. Um, this one already had holes, but I've enlarged them. So that should drain out that one. This one I wrote no holes on because I realized I need to keep one tub without any holes in it. So this particular bin won't drain out. 
Worst case scenario, I'll get a muddy mess at the bottom somehow. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I keep one of the good tops on top of it. Uh, and that way, yeah, the water shouldn't really be getting in unless I just forget. Uh, but in order to make sure there were no holes, I had to check this side. So I actually took the gravel that was here and sifted it. So I've got more in the pit. I got the sifter. I got a little bit more dirt there now. Um, I think the next step now is going to be trying to get this area cleared so I can start pulling stuff out. Um, I'm going to have to take some more dirt out. So let's take a look at the bin situation, the unprocessed soil. Have I got... That's filling up. So at some point I'm going to have to do more sifting, but also I'm starting to fill up here on the gravel. And at some point I need to get behind the wall with some landscape fabric and get the drainage gravel in on the, at those base stones. So maybe that's the first thing I need to do is get the plants out of the way. Uh, might, even, might even have to pull a couple of these blocks just to be able to get in there sufficiently make sure it's cleared out in the back and get the landscape fabric and start the drainage so it's just it, again like I keep talking about those sliding puzzles um, like if you think about the ones that are I can't remember it's three by three or four by four but the little slides and there's one little tiles and one of them's missing and you're trying to make a picture or a, you know a drawing or something like that and you're trying to get they're all scrambled up and you're trying to get them in the right order kind of like a Rubik's Cube but two-dimensional um, so that's a lot like what I'm dealing with here. Uh, so that's, I think the next thing you're going to see is just me moving stuff around and dealing with the gravel in the back. Okay, um, let's see. I've taken care of uh, up to that point, or almost up to that point, uh, the drainage gravel behind. I thought I was going to use a lot more gravel than I did, but I had some bigger rocks here, and I just took advantage of those. Um, I don't know if it's going to settle or what, but I mean, it should provide some degree of drainage. I could backfill right now, but I'm a little afraid to do that. Um, backfill with the actual soil. The reason I'm a little concerned about that is just because my plan keeps changing. So um, I think what I'm going to do now is the next thing is for me to actually attack. Sorry, trying to get you in a good position there. Uh, moving that stuff out of the way so I can finish kind of cutting into the hill and pulling out the other pieces that are there. Um, that'll then clear the way mostly for me to be able to start laying the remaining base um, blocks and uh, just go from there. Uh, it's going to involve pulling out more soil there so what I was doing there briefly was sifting just the stuff that I've already did I pull down new today. Um, so I'm just going to have to kind of organize everything and then try and figure out how to deal with the soil. Um, I'm starting to fill up on soil and on gravel, so I may have to figure out a way to, or I may have to decide to actually start backfilling just to use up some of the soil. Um, we'll figure it out. realized that was all out of frame <laughs> well um, I guess I'll edit that part out uh, just me putting a couple more of the capstones on I did uh, backfill a bit because I've got so much soil to come there 
I needed to make sure I had the room to actually uh, sift into. So that's where we are on that. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and then I'm going to come back and start uh, grabbing some of that soil and sifting it. Okay, just a quick update. Uh, I think you've seen enough of me sifting soil at this point. So um, I started emptying this one out. Uh, this one was partly emptied with the effort I did on the wall. Uh, this is building up now. And this is what I'm digging out at this point. Really, the, the goal is to get it kind of like you see right here, but all the way across. So I need to pull that volume of soil out. And the other problem I ru I'm running into now, that I, I kind of started figuring this out earlier, but uh, you can see how full the gravel thing is. So I switched from doing that to emptying this one out. If I can get that emptied out and sifted, I can then use this for additional gravel um, and if I just end up with so much soil, I don't know, I'll figure out what to do. But that's where I am on this, so I'm going to keep sifting until I get to uh, a certain point, then I'll come back. I'm going to be smart and quit here. Uh, it's about 20 to 3. I still got cleaning up to do, just getting some stuff moved around so nobody gets hurt. Uh, and I started digging. Uh, I was going to pull a bunch of this soil out, but then I ran into a problem with uh, the Nandina had a lot more roots than I thought it did. So I was digging a lot of that out, and I just got caught up in trying to dig over here instead of sifting it all. Um, but what I did do was I pulled out the uh, uh, blocks that I had in over at, in the... Um, staging area and did this and so now I have kind of an idea yeah it's cantilevered over whatever the idea is to make this kind of match with that if that makes any sense um, so I wanted to figure out how many more blocks I might need or if I had extras and when you get down here I end up with this sort of gap where I stuck in a half block um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to treat that but uh, what I may do, I may end up with just one extra block uh, as far as the base blocks. Um, I might put it in here, I'm not sure. Uh, if I do put it in here, then what I'll need is three more of the newer ones to make it all the way across at double height. Uh, or actually, no, sorry, it would be stepping down at this point because uh, when you get to that part over there, that is about the same height as this is right now. Granted, this is all really wobbly right now because uh, I don't know if you can see it real well, but there's extra uh, concrete still, still, mortar still stuck to this. So I need to clean these up like I did the one yesterday and then just start laying them going across, but I'm gonna have to keep shifting the dirt pile around to make it more manageable, uh, maybe do some sifting. And I still have to actually excavate out from, you can kind of see where I've cut into the hill there. I still need to excavate out the rest of the way over and then put the blocks, build up the wall, drainage, backfill, uh, and that's just that part of the project. Um, then I have to deal with kind of leveling things out. Uh, I started pulling out a bunch of the, the vegetation up here because ultimately what I'm going to need to do is dig into the side of the hill there and figure out once everything's kind of leveled off because I don't know if how obvious it is uh, on the left here the hill is lower than on the right uh, but it's dug across at about the same uh, distance from the front of the wall so that's what I mean by leveling off it's not just I mean I do want a level area behind before I get to the next step in the terracing but I also want it to be 
mostly level going left to right. So that's kind of where we are. Like I said, I'm just going to be smart about it and quit here for the day. Uh, we'll pick up again hopefully tomorrow. If not, then on Saturday. Good Friday morning to you. As the birds chirp in the distance. Three days in a row. Um, although admittedly this morning I did take something for the pain. Um, but I really want to get this to a certain point this weekend if I can. Maybe get a few seeds in the ground. So I guess I'll just pick up where I left off yesterday. Which is essentially trying to pull the soil out of this area here. Um, yeah. And then just shifting some stuff around for the moment. I could start sifting it all, but I think I'm good enough just trying to pull it out because I need to get over to this side and figure out, like, this riser. I don't think... I'm not sure if it goes up this way and connects back to the valves over on the other side of the wall there, or if the pipe comes across first like we've got that that's another thing I'm gonna have to deal with because um, that's right into the second step and I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the sort of plumbing for the for that particular sprinkler head but uh, a bunch of things to figure out but I think the first thing I gotta do is just get this dirt out of the way uh, so I can figure out what I'm dealing with Okay, let's take a look. Uh, I've managed to excavate out. There's still a root I need to cut. I can get the loppers for that, but that answers the question on the pipe. It does indeed come down. And so I guess this is technically the first uh, riser in that zone because the, uh, the valves are just on the other side of the wall there. Um, yeah. And, I mean, I've probably dug back a little bit more than I need to, but I just don't want to get caught in a situation where I'm trying to lay the blocks and discover that I'm not far enough back. I can always backfill. Um, speaking of which, I got a ton of soil here. Um, so I think I'm going to have to figure out some sifting just to get enough of this out of the way to get over here and lay down the next couple of blocks uh, so that I can then put the drainage behind it and then put a couple more blocks on top of it and so on and so on and so on and then eventually get over there and figure out how to work around that pipe. Um, the original plan was I was going to be three blocks high and I was going to dive back down when I got to this wall but actually it's almost the same height so I'm going to figure that out when I get there and then I'll be able to figure out how many more of the newer slump stone blocks I need. So that's where we are. Uh, I think I'll spare you the uh, sifting and we'll just come back when I've made some progress. I've been at it for a while and uh, there's only so much shifting around you can do. Eventually you got to kind of deal with certain things. As you can see I pulled out the big shovel just to kind of move the pile around a bit. Um, I've also pulled the capstones off the top because I wanted to wash them. Um, the thing is they're all in the landscape, uh, hardscaping and uh, they get dirty and then it's kind of hard to tell are they all the same color and if you had a really good washing rainstorm you wouldn't want to necessarily go oh that one right there in the middle is a different color. Uh, so maybe I'm being a little bit anal about it but I just wanted to wash them off. It was also a break from sifting so uh, I've even gone as far as uh, emptying out one of the, the one of the smaller bins and filling it up with the already sifted soil so I mean sifted it and then filled it with sifted soil if that makes any sense so at this point I think I need to actually uh, knock the garbage off the blocks and try and set the next two or three of them which is why I've dug out to that point and moved the pile over to the right 
So hopefully I can get a few of those in, then I can set up the drainage with some of the gravel, which that's almost overflowing, and then I can start doing the backfill. Um, I'm pretty well convinced that uh, even if I don't make it all the way over to the right, I can go ahead and backfill, and that'll take care of some of the sifted soil that I'm tripping over at this point. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to go clean off some of these older blocks of the extra mortar that's on them and then try and set them. I had a thought. Here I am building a wall. Why not listen to a little Pink Floyd? So in the course of the first album, the first record, the first disc really, <laughs> um, in the course of that I managed to clean off four blocks, only made one mistake. That mistake. <laughs> But I was kind of thinking I need a half block anyway. I mean, I was already thinking that before that happened. So I uh, put the other three that I cleaned off in there and managed to get it, uh, get the gravel in there. So I pulled a bunch of gravel out of there. And now I can start backfilling behind here. Uh, I'm only going up one level for the moment um, just to kind of get some of the sifted soil out um, and like I said I had pulled the pavers off of here so I could wash them so I may be able to start putting some of them back now so it's starting to come together um, I still am going to have to deal with all of that pile over there but if I can backfill enough I may, might make enough room to handle all of what's over there so uh, you know, it was starting to look like it was going to take me forever, and I wasn't going to finish today. Maybe I finish tomorrow, maybe not tomorrow, maybe Sunday. Now I'm starting to feel like, okay, I might not finish today, but definitely it's it's within striking range for tomorrow. So um, we'll see how my back holds out. But that's where I am right now, and I'm going to keep going. That's disc two, and this is where I am. I am now backfilling, uh, and that was indeed the key. Uh, I managed to get the drainage in, which did a nice job of cutting down. Let's go take a look. Fair amount of uh, the, uh, that was almost completely full. So I took a, a good amount of that out, and this is what I've taken out for backfilling. I still have one more full one there. And another one that's almost full there so I'm still in good shape in terms of having soil um, but I was getting concerned I was gonna run out of space to stow it all and I think I'm okay but it is definitely time for a good extended break and possibly quitting for the day um, I think I could be happy with that I still got to get some stuff out of the front taken care of so there'll be a little bit more lunch is over so I had brought some of these out to the front yard to hose them down, figure out what color they really were because they were all so dirty, and figure out what I had and maybe a pattern. And this is what I've settled on, um, both for you and note for myself because I'm interrupting here and I'm gonna have to pick up again. But some of the red ones are a bit faded, so I'm gonna call it pale red, and then I'm gonna call the newer, newest ones deep red. I got four of the deep red, I've got four of the pale red or something like that, and I got like seven of these brown. So pale red, brown, deep red, brown, pale red, brown, deep red, brown. And then it'll continue on from there until I get to the end of the wall. And that's what, 16 of them total? Although I think I only have seven of the browns so maybe 15 feet but that's kind of where I was after a bit of measuring I think I'm probably going to end the top level at 15 feet and dive back down uh, one level to get to the end there so that's where I am on that I wanted, didn't want to leave these all out in the front yard on the lawn where they're going to kill the lawn so that's got that um, debating whether to continue on and try and get a little bit more work done today or to just finish cleaning up, be smart about it, and pick up again tomorrow. Um, there's a part of me is raring to go, but I have to realize 
my body has limits and if I overdo it I may not be able to function for a couple of days uh, at least as far as anything heavy so I'm debating and I'll come back in a minute with an answer okay decision made uh, I'm gonna frame it this way uh, I managed to get a fair amount done today I sifted a lot of soil I got three more base blocks installed I'm looking at two and a half more base blocks remaining for the wall I got three of the upper blocks in I think I have three left I need to go pick up some more um, I need to figure that out and I got about halfway across on the the upper blocks there what still remains to be done just to be safe about things is to you know some cleaning up and moving things around so nobody gets hurt so I think I'm gonna quit for the day uh, I'm gonna leave it like it is well I need to clean up but uh, beyond that I'll pick up again tomorrow maybe I can get out if I want to do a little more today I can go out and I'm wearing through these gloves like crazy um, some of them are older gloves I'm just pulling them out of a pile of old gloves and uh, they're really just cotton gloves but it helps protect my hands from getting so scratched up that uh, you know I end up in pain at night so yeah I can stock up on gloves I can grab a few more blocks um, I think I got enough pavers at least to get me through the wall I still got to deal with the stuff in front of the wall so this is not going to be done in one more day I'm um, looking at tomorrow maybe Sunday um, Monday I got some stuff to do so that's kind of where I am on this so I think I'm gonna quit for the day and probably end up uh, finishing up this video and then we'll just pick up on the next video I'm calling them midweek work updates but uh, this one's gonna kinda end on the weekend <laughs> um, but uh, it is what it is so uh, if you're enjoying this please let me know um, otherwise I'm mainly doing it for myself just to document this project kinda like my DIYeries but uh, yeah that's where we are so let me know uh, if you like this content uh, I've got plenty of other content and different content so check out the rest of the channel and with that I will wrap up this video thank you for watching and as the budget gardener stay safe take care of the ones you love and may your thumb be green <laughs>